Welcome everyone to What's Happening in Crypto, exploring all of the latest from the crypto world and beyond. Was the Matrix a cautionary tale of the future? Well, the Institute of Human Obsolescence, yeah, there's really a thing called that, it's wild, isn't it? Has proposed a dystopian future power for Bitcoin. Humans. I don't make this stuff up, guys. This is real. <laughs> I just talk about it. Humans make about 100 watts of power while at rest. Now, the interesting thing here is that about 80% or 80 watts of this power is wasted via excess body heat. So essentially, every human unit is making 80 watts of power that could be captured. Now, the Institute of Human Obsolescence ran a test with 37 volunteers for a total of 212 hours of mining time. In that time, they generated only 127 watts of power. That was about 0.6 watts of energy per hour per human. Now, that is way, way below the 80 watt total capacity. Essentially, they are saying that they need to get much more effective at actually capturing that excess heat power coming off of humans. Now, in the experiment, they mined Vertcoin and Startcoin, as, of course, these are much less energy intensive to run than you might have with, for example, a Bitcoin mining ASIC. For example, the Bitcoin miner, the Ant Miner S9, uses 1,375 watts per hour and mines 0.6 Bitcoin per year, approximates on those course. So essentially, with two of these devices, you'd only get about 1.2 Bitcoin a year, not accounting, of course, for increasing difficulty and all of that stuff and require 2,750 watt hours, which is virtually nothing worth of Bitcoin, considering that during their experiment, every person only generated 0.6 watt hours of energy. So you'd have, essentially have to have about 4,600 people lying still 24-7 for a year to be able to mine around 1.2 Bitcoin, of course, assuming that the difficulty doesn't go up to a level where that would be all worth almost nothing. So you get about $3 per person. Not very economical at this stage when it comes down to it, but certainly an interesting idea. Now, in a perfect scenario, they're saying that an individual could produce about 700,000 watt hours in a year. So that would change it quite a bit. So if you had 34 people lay still for a year and their excess body heat was harvested to 100% efficiency, then those 34 people could theoretically do the same work as the 4,600 under the previous conditions of the experiment. It's crazy, isn't it? The, uh, the, the key thing they want to prove is how can we effectively harness one's biological capital? Biological capital. I'm surprised they're not doing this to cows or something yet, but I'm sure they will be in the near future. It seems like something that they'll, they'll probably get done. My question is, though, what if the artificial intelligence figures this out, right? We're always scared. Well, what about AI, right? What if AI figures out to mine Bitcoin using people. <laughs> Bitcoin's mined with people. Uh, this is a pretty wild story, but I don't think we're going to move towards some kind of terrible dystopian future where it's just like in the Matrix that we're all laying around in pods and machines are using us to extract our energy. Seems pretty dark overall. But it actually is an interesting idea in terms of the idea of harnessing biological capital may not be the best to be having people laying around mining Bitcoin with their bodies. But imagine if you could have a shirt, for example, or a pair of pants that allowed you to capture a small percentage of your energy every day and you could plug your phone into your shirt. Mm, now that would be interesting. That would be an interesting application of the technology. The dystopian Bitcoin mining, the Institute of Human Obsolescence, they can, they can keep that idea. 
Anyway, I would love to know your thoughts on the story. Do you think that we're going to see some kind of crazy dystopian future where machines are using us to mine Bitcoin? Or is the future going to be a bit brighter than that? And if you could, would you mine Bitcoin while you sleep, for example, capturing your body heat? Let me know about it down below in the comment section. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up on it. If you are new around here, subscribe to the channel. If you want to know when I put out a new video, hit the notification bell down below. You guys are super awesome. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Long live the blockchain. And peace out till next time.